I'm Scott Cousins, editor of the Frankfurt Times, and these are some of the stories you will see in Wednesday's paper. 40-year-old Frankfurt resident Heather McDaniel pleaded guilty Tuesday to two Class D felonies for operating a vehicle while intoxicated, causing serious bodily injury. She admitted to getting behind the wheel intoxicated August 7th last year, then hitting a brother and sister who'd been walking their bikes along Indiana 39, south of Frankfurt. Scores are in for standardized tests taken by English language learners in Indiana, and the community schools of Frankfurt didn't meet the state's learning objectives. Longtime Suncrest Elementary School principal Susie Contos, who is now in her first year as director of the district's non-English speaking program as well, said meeting the state's annual measurable achievement objectives, or AMAOs, is no easy task. Clinton County Council candidate Rochelle Lutz, who is running against incumbent Alan Dunn, said she's dissatisfied with the level of thoughtfulness exhibited lately in the county's budgeting priorities. Dunn, who is seeking a third term, said the council has been extremely thoughtful in prioritizing projects that builds up, to, up the county's infrastructure. The strategy, Dunn said, has paid off because the county has become a competitor in attracting businesses like ConAgra. Parkview Home was a subject of a heated debate Monday among members of the Clinton County Board of Commissioners. Corey Boyles, the commissioner appointed to oversee Parkview's management, questioned the lack of communication he receives about the county-owned home from his fellow commissioner Skip Evans and board president Burt Weaver. And finally, United Way for Clinton County is moving ahead with plans to sell its building but that is not the only change coming, according to announcements at the agency's annual meeting on Monday at Wesley Manor. The agency cut its budget for the coming year and will start its fundraising campaign, campaign early. For more, buy a copy of the Frankfurt Times or visit ftimes.com. Again, I am Scott Cousins, and thank you.